Praise Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Pastor Steve Ciccolanti, we're coming to you from discoverchurch.online. And the Lord has sent me here to the United States a few times at very key critical moments. And uh, they have coincided with the two eclipses, two out of the three great American eclipses. And I want to just show you that and remind you about how this eclipse has put a, a mark on the continental United States, put an X right over it. So the first one came in August 21st, 2017, and just days before that, I was standing there in Houston, Texas, announcing it just literally hours and a few days after that, the place where I was was completely flooded by the worst natural costliest disaster in the United States. And I said, this is not a good omen. I often wondered, well, why didn't the Lord tell me exactly where it was going to be? You know what I mean? He put me there. And that's a prophetic thing, isn't it? Isaiah says that, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me, we are for signs and for wonders. So it, it, the, the very presence of a prophet often announces something. It's a prophetic thing. But uh, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't know exactly where it was. And I said that, well, the one in 2024 is coming in April. That's just months away. And it's going to make an X right over the Madrid fault line. And we should be looking to some event, you know, like an earthquake or something else that shakes the land in that Mississippi Madrid fault line region. But um, we got more revelation this year because we found out it's not just two, but it's three great American solar eclipses. We, we say great because it crosses the continental United States and it makes this pattern. Now, you've seen this on YouTube. I've shown this. It makes this a left or an A. And what now it tells us is that with that third line, it's right there. Texas is right there. X marks the spot. You just needed the third line to be able to see that, yep, there's where the Lord sent me to announce that this is an omen, a last, a final warning to the United States. And then now with this pattern, if it holds, we know that, well, it looks like something is going to happen in Oregon or Washington. There's another X there. And then we've got the Madrid fault line and the Mississippi uh, right there where it parts. So we're looking at three different things there. Now, these things are related to uh, President Donald Trump. And a lot of you have heard that Donald J. Trump was born on June 14, 1946. And I have that written there. I have a reason for that. Because on that, uh, counting from that day, right, to his inauguration, he was... 70 years, 7 months, 7 days old. That 777 is a marker. It's a sign from heaven that he's chosen by God. Amen? So, as you go a bit further, you'll also find out that 7 months after the inauguration, that solar, that first solar eclipse was triggered. So seven is all over President Donald Trump, right? So why, do God give, why does God give signs? It's to assure you, because you're going to go through some storms. A lot of times you might be like, well, I wish the sun and the moon gave signs that relate to my life. But that's almost certainly a warning that you're going to go through some rough patches. And he's, you know, God's trying to give you a, uh, an assurance that you're going the right way. Now, God also gives us some signs about the other side. And I've never shown this before, so I want you to pay attention to this. And I just drew it out. No one, no one in the world has ever seen this before. Thought this would be a great thing to show to the very first uh, service at General Mike Flynn's recording studio. This is awesome. This, I hope you can catch it in the camera, but uh, Obama was born August 6, 1961. And you know that we've spoken about Yuval Nova, Noah Harari as a blasphemer, as a great blasphemer who mouths off against God, very anti-Torah, anti-Bible, and very pro-homosexual and very pro-AI. Uh, and he thinks that we're going to transcend what God has done and humans are going to you know, leave the shackles that God has placed on us in his mind. So his birthday is interesting. It's February 24, 1976. 
So he's younger than me, but really been, been pumped up. His books, they're everywhere. And they're not that good. I've leafed through them and they're, they're very so-so. They're full of errors and deception, but they're really pumping him up. So why did I put Obama and Harari together? Well, you know that there's a prophecy that Obama is going to trigger a war in the Middle East that will be against Israel. So people are looking, is he an antichrist or the antichrist? I don't think he is, but I think that he's being used in, in some negative ways, right? And then Harari definitely is a blasphemer. And so there's a relationship between them. Can you see the number between them? That's the number of, um, number of days between them, 5,317. From one leader's birth to a potential false prophet. There is a relationship. And remember that the devil turns everything upside down. Oh, man. What does that spell? Lies. Lies. That's what unites them together. It's lies. Only God can do something like that. So you've seen that with Donald Trump. You see that with Obama. And since we're in General Mike Flynn's studio, I thought I'll do one for him. All right. I hope he's watching. So General Mike Flynn was born December 24th, 1958. And recently we shared the stage. He invited me to the um, Miami reawakening event. And we met each other on October 14, 2023, which for me, it's obvious, right? This is a prophetic day. This is the second great American solar eclipse. He did not know that. The people in the audience I asked did not know that. A lot of the people on stage did not know that, but God knew. So God had Pastor Steve come on exactly the second great American solar eclipse, just like he had me come to Texas on the first one. So what's the big deal about that? Well, General Mike Flynn might not know that on that day, he was 777 months old, seven plus seven plus seven days. Just like Trump, there's something going on that God says, I've chosen you. There's a mark of completion, a mark of perfection and completion in what I want to do through you. And when he does things like that, usually it means it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough going. But stay, stay put, stand your ground, don't quit the fight because God has chosen you and he's put his mark on you. Now on top of that, you might say, well, what, what's this all about? Well, it turns out on that month, my age, well, let's, let's talk, not, not talk about me. What's the destiny? What's his destiny? Uh, these sevens related to the solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are by the Jewish rabbis reckoning omens for the Gentile nations. So his destiny is he's going to be part of the judgment of America. But you can put a positive spin on it and say, and he may also be part of justice. For the USA and that's my same calling I'm called to revive the the biblical destiny of the church and of uh, Jesus which is he's going to bring we are bringing justice amen biblical justice not revenge not hate but pure biblical divine justice we need to bring this back because Jesus is coming back to judge amen so my age at the time that I met him at the very month is seven times seven. So there's another pattern of seven, right? A completion, seven times seven, 49. So my age exactly at that month, that is my birth month, uh, a bunch of seven is going on at the same time as the annular. So not a total, but an annular. Uh, it's kind of that ring of fire eclipse. It's not complete, right? It leaves that ring of fire around. It's called an annular solar eclipse. So we have a destiny, all of us, related to Christ, related to the United States, and related to biblical justice. And so we're praying that President Trump comes back, General Mike Flynn comes back, Mike Lindell, Tucker Carlson, whoever else needs to be there, we're praying for you. And I don't need any recognition, I just want to impart to you. I want to put the Word of God and speak life into you and speak um, the biblical template for government. 
because we haven't seen it. If we've seen it, we wouldn't be in the mess that we're in. 